Hello everyone and welcome back to Benchmark 2. In the last episode we started getting into the mod Bewitchment. Seems like a pretty cool magic mod and we're just getting into it. I, I was looking in the last episode for a juniper tree and I have now found one. So we're just going to grab ourselves some. Just checking there's no other trees because I still need to find an elder tree. But it doesn't matter there is one around here. Maybe just quick, quickly grab another juniper one. There's one. I found it in the end because I just saw in the picture in the book. That's clearly an acacia biome behind it. So that's how I, that's how I found where to look. Google said to look in a cold biome, which this definitely isn't. But the book doesn't actually say where to look. But anyway, now that we've got... Okay, it took a while to sleep there. Now that we've got the trees that we need. So I've already planted a couple of these cypress ones, I believe. Or did I not? Because I did crash and it may have I may have lost the progress of planting them. So let's just craft let's just place a couple of these trees around. So, I'm trying to get some fiery chalk so we can summon a demon. So I need heaven extract, which is a feather, mandrake, and juniper bark. That's what I need the juniper for. So, feather. Only nine feathers. And then I should have some mandrake on me already. There we go. So how exactly does this work then? Do I just toss the three ingredients in? Uh, no. Do I right click them in? Do you know what? The pot probably needs to be boiling, doesn't it? That would make sense. I wonder if I can just light it with a flint and steel. No. Let's get some netherrack. Let's just light a fire underneath the cauldron. So how's that? Yeah, there we go. It's bubbling now. That's, that's definitely what I need to do. So mandrake, juniper, feather. Okay, and then do I need to get a bottle? Uh, let's try getting a bottle. See, I'm so... I've never done this mod before. I'm completely clueless. I'm just guessing with everything, including the fact is I'm not sure if I'm going to need these glass bottles or not. No, that's not it. Uh, the book should tell me. Okay, I think I messed up. Apparently, if you throw things in, if you throw the mandrake root in first, it creates something else. So how... Oh, okay. It's my fire gone. What if I just break it? If I break it, will it forget what it has in it? Yes, okay, so we can try that again. So we need to get ourselves some more of the mandrake and another feather. They're growing too close to the fire. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, so we're going to throw the bark in first. See, that's a much different colour now. Now I can, now I can bottle it. There we go. So the other one I needed was fiery serum, which is lignite. So why is it lignite and not cold? Lignite. Have I come across any of that yet? No. Should we try doing coal, see if that works? So I need oak, lignite and a poppy. But we're going to try coal. Oh, there's more in there. Oh, nice. I get multiple. 
Okay, so oak. Is that the right colour? I don't know. No, it needs to be orange. But yeah, I definitely need lignite, whatever that is. But this is really annoying because where do you even get that from? I've had massive quarries set up around the world and have not gotten any. Okay, I don't think this lignite stuff actually exists in the world. So it's definitely not in the overworld. And, oh, I'm almost out of jetpack energy. And it kind of, I was looking at the block on here and it kind of looks like these ether blocks here, which is why I've been, I've been out here in the, in the end for about half an hour now. I've been flying through caves. I've been flying around underneath. I've mined tunnels through the world looking for this lignite stuff. Oh God, whatever, I just stood on then, it's not good. But I cannot, for the life of me, find it. And it's really bugging me. Because it's the only one, it's the only thing I need to get this demon stuff. So I just look at someone. So I honestly have no idea what I'm going to do. There are also a bunch of floating islands with the same blocks on, but they've all just got Amatrine, which is a much more valuable resource than Lignite, you would think. But I just cannot find it. So I don't think it exists in the world. All of this is just Amatrine. I have tried mining through some of these as well. It's all just Amatrine. So I'm left with no lignite anywhere to be found. Right, I kept searching through the nether for, until my jetpack ran out of charge. And I couldn't find anything. The end, sorry, such to the end, not the nether. And I couldn't find anything. So I've just concluded that it doesn't exist in this world. And if I'm wrong, then I'm going to feel really bad because I have just cheated some in. Because I want to carry on with this bewitchment mod. Can't do it without this particular resource. So, in my opinion, I've had no choice. And I will feel really guilty if I do end up finding some and it is actually findable in the world. But at this point in time, I really don't think it is. So, we're going to carry on like this. Oh, my jetpack's charged. Not charged. Um, I can time in a bottle it just so it gets a bit charged a bit faster. Okay, so we've got about 20 million charge. Right, but back to this. So have I already tainted the recipe or can I throw that in? No, I've already tainted the recipe. Let's at least get back on track of actually having to get stuff legitimately. So what did I need in here? Bewitchment, I was going for the fiery chalk, I ate the fiery serum. I really feel like this is supposed to be coal in here. In fact, what does the book say? Oh no, it does also say lignite in here. But why though? Why is it lignite and not coal? Because I cannot find lignite anywhere and it cannot be crafted. Okay, stop. I need to stop dwelling on that. Yes, I'm disappointed. But I need to stop dwelling on that and get on with things. Okay, got some bark. Okay, that's definitely the right colour. And then I just need to craft up the chalk. Ah, oh, cool, it doesn't try I get extra durability. Nice. And then how, how did I do it? I need to draw like two circles. Where's my book? So I'm summoning a demon. 
So what what's in the middle there? That yellow thing. Is that the altar? Is Or is that a yellow piece of chalk? Do I need golden chalk now as well? I think that's probably the way to go. So I need uh which is spruce, aconite and stone. So it was spruce first. Am I still picking up my ME system? No. Did I just not pick up that those spruce bits? Where's it going? Why am I not getting the spruce bark? Is there a special way to get the spruce bark? Okay, I got. I didn't do anything differently, so I don't know how I end up getting some, but I've got some now. Okay, spruce bark, stone, and aconite. And I've got my three there. Right, and then the next thing I need is the cleansing balm. So that's salt, elder bark, and garlic. That's annoying because I haven't found elder bark and elder tree yet. So if I go back to the front page, elder trees spawn in forest biomes. It is often associated with knowledge and intelligence. Do I know of a forest biome nearby? Fragmented forests. I wonder if that would do it. Old growth birch forest, maybe, if I head south. Might find one in there. Yeah, let's try heading south. Right, so I'm looking in here for an elder tree. Yeah, definitely not saying anything but birch and the occasional rubber tree. Bruce one. Oh, that's not even birch, that's... Ah, oh, crashed. Okay, we found ourselves a couple of what we need. So, of the elder trees. And I found this, we're back at our starter village here. So we've got a forest biome right here. We head back home. I hate that I always crash the game when I go, like, generating chunks with my super fast jetpack. It really annoys me that that crashes the game. Right, but anyway, so that's the elder log I've got now. I needed the... I actually needed some of it, didn't I? Cleansing balm. So salt, elder bark, garlic. How do I get a salt? A water bottle in the furnace. So then we just wait for that and then we need to fill up our cauldron. But we should make a start on drawing out the red chalk. So we need, it needs to be like an 11 by 11 area. So what have I got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, almost there. Well, that's the red ring, and then the inner ring is same color. And then I think I just need the golden chalk in the center, and then we're all good. So I've got some salts. So it was elder bark, garlic, and the salt. So then, what do I need for this? So I need wood ash and any sort of bark. All right, bring me any sort of trees. Just give me some bark. I mean, I'd rather use the oak trees for my bark. Uh, why is that not doing anything? Oh, there's spectrum logs. That's strange. I 
Okay, so now I've got my golden chalk for the center. And then, so I just need to throw in demon horn, snake tongue, belladonna, aconite, and a diamond. And just need to grab a diamond. We have loads of diamonds, so that won't be a problem. I don't know if I need a magic wand to trigger this or something. But apparently this guy shoots fire, so let's try and lure him away as fast as we can. This ritual needs a proper sacrifice. Separates a demon from their hellish home by sacrificing a human using anathema. Demons offer a variety of trades, but they will usually attack you unless you wear the armor. So do I need to sacrifice a villager then? I think so. So I need to make myself another one of those golden lassos and we'll just go capture a villager. But we probably need to make a villager breeder at this point. I wonder if there's a block for it. No. Doesn't look like it. But for now, we'll just craft up a lasso and go and grab one of the ones we've got over here. There's loads of villagers around. I'm sure I'll never run out of villagers anyway. Oh, I can't pick up villagers. I wonder if the diamond one would do it. Let's try that. All right, will this one pick you up? Yes, that's better. Right, so do I throw the items on before killing the, the villager? Come back. Right, can I get him down to one hit and then just take him over? Where are you going? This ritual needs a proper sacrifice. No, come back. I assume he needs to be in the actual circle. Bad deal. Why has that not worked? I did a proper human sacrifice. This ritual needs a proper sacrifice. I didn't say human sacrifice. Oh, it did in the book though, didn't it? And I used the athame. Okay, one thing I've missed out on is I need to upgrade my altar somehow. So apparently I can place all sorts of things on there to increase capacity. Oh, I can only have three things on there. Okay. Well, that's annoying. Can I double up my altar? What if I put two next to each other? Will that increase it? I don't know. I've just been reading this book here. What if I make it out of a different material? Does that help? Right, so we're going to try this again now that we have more altar power. I've made three more altars and just put them all next to each other. So they should all have... Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. They should all have power in them and hopefully that builds up. I don't know. If this doesn't work, we're just going to... I don't know what to do really. I put a wall around. Your source of magic is not strong enough. Okay, well, at least we got that message. I don't think I got it last time. So I think we do need the 666 power all in one altar. But I'm not sure how we get that, to be honest. Because it's not letting me put more than three things on there, and I've got 328. That's the highest it's letting me go. Oh, that's just gone up to 352. How's that happened? Is it because I'm right-clicking it? What caused it to go up just then? Stop picking it up. What if I have things near it, like the wood blocks? 
No. What about the elder wood blocks? That seems like that stuff would be pretty good. Okay, I'd have no idea how to increase this. I'm going to have to do some research on it. Anyway, I'm going to call the episode here. Thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.